What's going on everybody? I'm here giving a demonstration of Adobe Premiere Pro on my MacBook Pro. A lot of people have been asking for this, so I decided let me just make a little video real quick just to show you how the similarities of the two between the PC and the Mac version are pretty much the same, but it's just the layouts and how you delete things and everything else is a little bit different as far as the PC version in my opinion. And the Mac version, in my opinion, is just a little bit of a learning curve, but it's not that hard where you got to be taking a whole step back and have to learn a whole new process as far as Adobe Premiere Pro goes. But it's pretty much the same. One of the main differences, in my opinion, is that a lot of the actions are in the top bar as far as if you want to cut the video or delete a little part from the timeline, you can go to the top bar and look for clips and you can scroll on down and find delete or edit or things like that and just remove things from the timeline, which was a little bit of a learning curve for me because when you do the PC version, you could do it all within the timeline right there, hit the left click and you can, or not, I'm sorry, the right click and then it'll bring up a menu of things. You can unlink the audio or cut and clear or things like that when it comes to editing. One thing I noticed while trying to use my MacBook Pro, I tried to hook up my Scarlett 2i2 up to it and it didn't work at this present time because I guess uh, something I got to download a driver or things like that. But I went to the website and it said it's just plug and play, but it didn't work with the MacBook Pro. This 13 inch, like maybe it's, it's got to be like a desktop, like the Mac Pro or things like that. But I'm definitely going to look forward and see if there's any way I can still use it. But one of the things I like to do when I do my voiceovers is use my Scarlett 2i2 because it just allows me to just to get the best audio quality as far as the drivers and plugins with the Scarlett 2i2. When I'm doing recording is just one of the best things I've ever used so I tried to see how that worked but it didn't work maybe a USB microphone can work as far as Samsung or Audio Technica or anything like that but I looked in the hardware section of Adobe Premiere and it didn't show up at this time that so I just figure maybe a driver issue or something like that well we'll figure it out later but one of the main things I noticed about Adobe Premiere as far as using SSDs is that Export times are generally a long process, I will not lie to you. A uh, 40 second video ran me about a minute and a half to upload and export to YouTube, but I guess the average video, YouTube video probably is five to six minutes long. So you might run it in about 25 to 35 minutes when it comes to uploading and exporting to YouTube and things like that. But it's always going to be something. It's not going to be super duper fast when it comes to export times, but hey, long as you work gets done the way you want it to and just edit it the best way you can i love this software this is some of the best video editing software i've ever used and i'll definitely recommend it when it comes to video editing this is a quick look at premiere pro on the macbook i just hopefully anybody who had any questions i pretty much answered them if i could i'm just still learning it so it's still a little process but i want to thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video